the nitrogen cycle. There's a lot to learn for the nitrogen cycle. And so you actually have two pages because we have some processes that occur um, on land and then some in water. And so we also have this page um, with some more water terms. There's not as many notes, but the notes take a little bit longer. Um, so, um, and hmm, the nitrogen cycle is challenging. And so pay a special attention to it because it's really important to know and understand the nitrogen cycle. All right, so nitrogen. Let's start with atmospheric nitrogen. So up here, the largest reservoir of nitrogen is in the atmosphere. So atmospheric nitrogen. And how it gets to Earth is through nitrogen fixation from that N2. So nitrogen fixation can happen in a couple of ways. You can have lightning. And then you can also have it through bacteria. So here's our lightning here. not as common of a way to have nitrogen fixation. But basically nitrogen fixation is when N2 turns into NH3. And this is not a balanced equation like with chemistry. There's other parts that are in it, but you basically need to know that nitrogen gas goes into ammonium. Ammonia, sorry. And then forms ammonium. And that's part of the notes you'll get to in a minute. All right, some next parts of this. Um, so we have nitrogen that comes from plants. So first, let's talk about ammonia. So nitrogen fixation, we have, um, it creates ammonia for plants. Now some plants like ammonia. So I'm gonna put this here, ammonia. Um, but others do not. So <clears throat> we have here ammonia turning into nitrites and turning into nitrates because most plants prefer nitrates. And this whole process here is called nitrification. And so then these nitrates get absorbed by the plant and they use the nitrogen for green leafy growth. So now we have our nitrogen traveling in our plant here. Then what happens is that we as animals eat the nitrogen. So we eat it. And this process, so the nitrogen is here in the plants, and this process of eating nitrogen is called assimilation. It's also where plants take it up through the roots from the soil. So now we have nitrogen in the animals, which helps build our DNA, and then we get rid of it through poop. So I'm gonna draw waste here. All right, and so waste is also can also have ammonia in it. And so the process of decompose, decom, decomposition releases the, um, the, um, it, I'm sorry, it takes the, the poop and the dead things and turns it into ammonia. Okay, so when these die, they also get decomposed. So dead plants, dead animals, the decomposition process releases the nitrogen um, back into the cycle. So we have nitrogen fixation creating our ammonia from N2. Um, and then sometimes to complete our cycle, it goes back up into the atmosphere 
through the process called denitrification. And that's really from nitrates into back into N2 gas. And that completes our cycle, but there's still some other parts that you have to know. Most of our nitrogen fixation actually does not come from lightning. Most of it comes from the roots of legumes. So over here, we have a legume. A legume is a type of plant that does, um, and peas are a type of legume, beans are a type of legume, clovers are legume. And on their root nodules, so here we have these root nodules. Nodule is just like this bumpy part on the root. And on it is nitrogen fixing bacteria. So this is a big picture of what's on the root nodules, the nitrogen fixing bacteria. And so what happens is you have N2 gas that goes into um, the nitrogen fixing bacteria here, and it turns it into ammonia. So these bacteria on the roots of legumes create ammonia. And that's the majority of our nitrogen fixation um, on land. In the water, there's blue-green algae that does this called cyanobacteria. All right, so here's the notes for the rest of this page. So pause the video and go ahead and fill in the notes here for the first page of the nitrogen cycle. All right, so hopefully you have that down. If not, pause. And then now we're gonna go on to the second page. So we now have what's going on underwater with the nitrogen cycle. So we have on land, now let's talk about what's going on in, under the water. So in the water, we can have nitrogen fixation through blue-green algae. Now blue-green algae is also called cyanobacteria. and it does nitrogen fixation. And I changed color to show you the blue and the green. So blue, and it's called blue-green algae. And so there are bacteria that live in the water. And so they're gonna do the nitrogen fixation in the water. And so the nitrogen fixation creates ammonia. And so also we have fish poop, which has a lot of ammonia in it. And when things die, they have a lot of ammonia in it. So in the water, you want nitrifying bacteria. So we want to go from ammonia to nitrite and nitrate, just like on land. Now, I didn't write the specific names of the bacteria on the last page, just for the space, the lack of room. But here I'm going to give you the names of the bacteria that do this process. So from ammonia to nitrite is called nitrosomous bacteria. And from nitrite to nitrate is called nitrobacter bacteria. So we have lots of different bacteria. So up here you have nitrogen fixing bacteria through blue-green algae, and then you have nitrification. So we call it nitrifying bacteria, and there's two types here. So this is nitrification.
Same as we wrote on the other page. And then it gets into the plants. Once it's at nitrites, sorry, nitrates, it gets into the plants through assimilation. So the plants take it up and use it to grow. Green leafy growth for nitrogen in plants. All right, so here's our definition. So pause the video and go ahead and write your definitions here for these other parts of the nitrogen cycle. And when you're done, you can stop the video.